Now, this is a question I get a lot, and it's something I seriously struggled with when I first uh, when I was first going through everything. And it's, uh, should I go for the CCMP routing and switching after my CCNA routing and switching? That's a good question because there are so many tracks and paths you can go down. Because many of you are getting your CSENT and you're, you're gonna go down the security path. So CCNA security, CCMP security. Many of you are, you're, you're extremely smart, gifted and wonderful and you're going down the collaboration space. I'm just kidding. Collaboration is my, it's my thing. So look into it if you have never seen, uh, thought about it. Most network engineers don't like collaboration. And to them I say, you're crazy. But you know what, more for me. Or you're going down data center, you're going down the wireless track, and there, there's a, so many tracks you can go down. And, and many guys just wanna specialize and go down their specific track before, or instead of going down the CCMP security, tra or the, ka, the CCMP routing and switching track. And uh, here's my two cents on that. Uh, and, I, and I'll kinda start with this. When I was deciding, I was going through CBT Nuggets and they're training for CCNA. And uh, my man, Jeremy Chara, hey Jeremy, what's going on, man? Uh, he, uh, he said, his advice was to, after your CCNA routing and switching, get your CCMP routing and switching. That'll give you the foundation you need and routing and switching to be able to go down the other tracks because up until very, very recently, you couldn't survive in any of the other tracks unless you had a very strong foundation in routing and switching. Now, I'll say up until very recently for this reason. Now, right now as it stands, you can get your, C your CSENT, your ICND one, pass that exam, and you can go from there directly to CCNA security or to CCNA collaboration or to CCNA wireless. Um, that wasn't the case when I was going through this and that wasn't the case for a long time. You had to first get your C... Uh, your ICND1 CSENT, also ICND2, CCNA routing and switching before you could divert into any other track. Now, when I heard Cisco was changing this to where you could just go CSENT and then wherever you want, I thought they were crazy because there's so much valuable information in CCNA routing and switching that you're going to need in every other track. I mean, and really in every role you're going to have in IT, you're gonna to have to know this stuff, but the roles are becoming more, more specialized. So, especially if you're gonna work for like a, uh, a larger company. Like if you're working for a small like mom and pop company, companies that are under 500 people, under you know 100 users, things like that, you're gonna be jack of all trades for a lot of stuff. And you'll be doing servers, VMware, uh, email, every, I mean everything, right? But for larger companies, and I've recently experienced this because I, I, I used to be at the mom and pops and I used to be jack of all trades for everything, but uh, at larger companies, you're kind of siloed. You'll be, you're, you're, you're the voice guy, or you're the security guy, or you're the data center guy, you, you deal with Nexus switches, or you're the wireless guy, especially if you go to a VAR, a value added reseller, which is like a Cisco partner. So these guys will actually sell the Cisco equipment to uh, companies, and they'll come in and even install it for them, or they'll do like a consulting uh, relationship. So instead of them hiring their own dedicated network engineer, they'll hire this company and say, hey, when something breaks, we'll just call you guys, sound good? So these companies will actually have very specific uh, people who only work on wireless. And you may never deal with a, a routing and switching issue. So that's where we're at, that's, that's the landscape, that's how it looks right now as it stands. Um, but what's, what, what, what's my take, what's my advice? I'm still with Jeremy Chara. I think routing and switching is the backbone to all of the tracks, you still need to know it. It's important, it's very important. So uh, I guess the first thing is, should I complete my CCNA or should I just go CSENT to CCNA security, CCNA data center? No, no, do CCNA routing and switching. Stick with that. That's your first step, that's your first rung. You wanna have your CCNA routing and switching. Then after that, this is where I, I could see maybe not getting your CCMP completely. Now, why do I say that? Well, because I, I'm kind of a hypocrite in that respect. While I did, uh, I, I, I believe what Jeremy Chara told me, but I didn't do that. I went and got my CCNA voice first. Now, my, my reasoning was different because I was in a role at the time where I was doing a lot of voice. I had the voice environment thrust upon me, just kind of got it thrown at me. The network engineer at the time did not like it. So I ended up doing, uh, I ended up doing a lot of voice. So I wanted to add to my skill set and get that going. So I completed my CCNA voice and then I jumped into CCMP uh, routing and switching. So the first piece of advice I'll give you on this is it's, it's gonna be different wherever you are. It's gonna be unique to where you're at and your position. So if you're at a company and um, let's say you're, you've been giving a lot of voice, act, uh, voice tasks and you're, you're being given more voice responsibility, it may be better for you after your CCNA routing switching to go the collaboration route. 
or if you're dealing a lot with ASAs and security stuff, it may be better to go straight into CCNA security to solidify those skills and, and start moving that way. Um, Cause you know, you may, you may work for a, a value added reseller or a Cisco partner that will actually reward you and, and, and help you go up in the ranks if you go for a more specific path. And that's, that's, you have to kind of gauge that for yourself. But if you're just like, you have no idea, there'd be no advantage for you getting your voice right now or your security or your wireless. I would say to be a well-rounded network engineer, get your CCMP routing and switching. So first CCNA routing and switching, then your CCMP routing and switching. This will put you in a great spot. Then you can start specializing. Now, if you want to take a break after your CCNA routing and switching and do some Python, that's a smart choice too. Uh, that might that might be a better option if you're if you're in a company that's going to start heavily using that. Otherwise, I would still keep going down the route of CCMP routing and switching. It's going to leave you well rounded, and you'll be ready to freaking go on any of the other specializations. And the CCNA or CCMP routing and switching is fun. If, if you like the CCNA, CCMP is a blast. I mean, it's really stinking fun. So yeah, guys, get your CCMP routing and switching. You'll be ready to go, reared to go. Um, now again. 10 days of giving here, 10 days of Christmas Network Chuck. I'm giving away five more of the David Bommel Pack at Tracer Labs. So if you wanna win this, uh, this training package, this program, this Udemy course, today, simple, comment below, hashtag CCNA Lab. Let me know why you want this or just say hi. I'll be picking five winners today. Uh, thanks again, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.